So much to cover. We're going to begin this morning with President Trump taking the first step towards transforming immigration policy in America. Just a few hours from now, he's expected to sign a new executive order putting money towards building that big border wall down south. More orders are expected to follow, banning most refugees and temporarily blocking visas from more than half a dozen countries in the Middle East and Northern Africa. And a third targeting undocumented immigrants currently finding shelter in so-called sanctuary cities. Well, guess what? We have got the best team in the business here to talk us through all of it. And I want to bring in NBC's Kristen Welker first. She's at the White House working overtime. Why? Because Donald Trump's got a lot he wants to do. Kristen, how is this wall? Let's start with that. How's it going to happen? Okay, here's what we know right now, Steph. President Trump is going to go to the Department of Homeland Security this afternoon, and that's where he's going to sign this executive order. It is going to direct federal funds towards starting the construction of building the wall. So pre-existing federal funds. But the question is, is that enough to actually get the wall built? By some estimates, it's going to cost $6.5 million per mile to build a single layer of fence. So if he needs extra appropriations, that's going to require congressional approval. Will he be able to actually get that from Congress, particularly when you have so many Democrats who've said they are opposed to building the wall. So there are a lot of details that still need to be hammered out here and that the White House hasn't really given us an indication about how that's going to break down. Now, we will be tracking that. We are also told that there are other potential executive actions in the works that would do some of the things that you talked about, Steph, that would ban uh, refugees from coming from uh, countries that have predominantly Muslim populations, countries like Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. That would be significant uh, if the president were to sign an executive order like that, and that would be coming in the coming days, Steph. We're not anticipating that today. And he's also going to crack down on sanctuary cities. Now, <coughs> one more point about the wall, which is, of course, one of the most controversial things that candidate Trump proposed when he was out on the campaign trail. He insists, and senior administration officials insist, I talked to them overnight, Mexico's going to pay for the wall. Well, Mexico insists they're not going to pay for the wall. President Peña Nieto recently quoted on January 11th of saying, Mexico, of course, will not pay. Steph, he's going to be visiting and meeting with President Trump in the coming weeks before the end of the month. So this is setting up quite a fiery meeting between the two leaders. And this is a significant step. The question is, is it actually going to put the wall into process, or is this more about optics? You know, or will it, when President Trump sits face to face with people, he often tells a different story. And when he met right. with Peña Nieto during uh, the campaign, he didn't actually say that to him face to face. Yep. But of all the things Donald Trump is doing, he's doing even more. Can you please talk about the tweet he put out this morning regarding voter fraud? Because it's extraordinary. If you think about it, executive actions across the board, those who voted for him could say, bam, 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 fulfilling promises. Right. Yet, here he is, unforced error, taking us back to this voter fraud issue. What's he doing now? A little bit of background for our viewers, Steph. This all started when President Trump met with congressional leaders earlier this week. And at the start of that meeting, he reiterated his claim that he thought three to five million people voted illegally, that they were undocumented immigrants who were voting. So the questions yesterday during the briefing here, is he going to launch an investigation? Well, today, this is what he's tweeting. I will be asking for a major investigation into voter fraud, including those registered to vote in two states, those who are illegal, and even those registered to vote who are dead. So really laying down the gauntlet, we'll have to see if this investigation actually takes place, Steph. Extraordinary. We've got a lot to cover. I'm going to bring in our super panel, MSNBC contributor and former radio host Charlie Sykes. Jason Johnson is politics editor at Root.com and professor of politics and journalism at Morgan State University. And Raul Reyes, an attorney and contributor at NBCNews.com. Gentlemen, there's so much to cover. I want. I, t I definitely want to talk voter fraud, but really, I want to talk about these executive actions. I want to talk about this wall. Whether we're talking about the wall, the possible ban, the sanctuary cities, while we might be shocked, should we be? This is. These were his core campaign promises. And he's fulfilling them. No, no, nobody should be shocked. In fact, you know, you know, good for the president, the fact that he's actually doing what he said he was going to do. Now, of course, there's a lot of questions about the details. It, it's not going to be a wall. We don't know where the money's going to come from, and Mexico's not going to pay for it. But I'm not sure that his base is going to particularly care about that. 
but he's got to govern the country here. Right. And while people can say, not my president, he didn't win the popular vote, he won the election, he said he was going to do right. this, and here it is. However, I think we should be, to a certain extent, shocked because generally immigration policy is set by Congress, not the president. Recall, President Obama introduced his deferred action plan in 2012, three years into it. Um, then there was this failed legislati legislation in Congress on immigration reform. Then he tried executive action in 2014, five years into it. Here's President Republicans Trump control just five Congress. years. But, he, but what I'm saying is here's President Trump just five days into it taking executive orders, which is exactly what Republicans have been complaining that President Obama has been doing. At least he but waited. But they didn't like President Obama. It's, they could say, exactly. I don't like they it did. if you do it. Right. I like it they if like, I do it. They, so like, when, they, they didn't like President Obama doing it. Right, it's, it's much more situational. Uh, look, it, it's even more simple than that for, for me. <laughs> I can promise you the moon, I can promise you diamonds, okay, but I gotta get up there and I gotta get down there, right? Like, he can promise all these things. He can say, I'm gonna do executive orders. How will this actually manifest itself in policy? Even if the Republicans are happy with it, this requires governors, this requires federal agencies. Trump has this wonderful tendency to make all these immense promises and forget about the details. That's not a good sign moving forward for governance. This does, when I'm, right. when I'm looking at Donald Trump over the last few days, he's got these beautiful right. photo ops. He's signing, he's signing. It yeah. almost looks like Daddy Warbucks going, make it happen, make it happen, make it happen. Charlie, how does this actually happen? Well, that, that's the fascinating question. And also, I mean, he is moving very, very quickly to do all of these things. And they're going down the list, but he keeps stepping on his own story. The fact that he is distracting from his own message. You know, and I, I thought that today was going to be a perfect example. Okay, you know, th this is his sweet spot. He gets to go to the Homeland Security Department. You know, this is a core promise of his administration. Is he going to distract from his own narrative? And sure, what happens first thing this morning? He puts out a tweet relitigating the, you know, re relitigating to getting the election. Mm, right. Okay, I'm going to let you yeah. wish on yeah. that star, and we're going to talk <laughs> okay. about that, but I want to actually go to that border. Our own Gotti Schwartz is there. He's in uh, Arizona at this moment. Gotti, talk to us about the logistics, because earlier this morning when we heard from John McCain, he said it's much more than